Welcome back. We're here looking at the indices and the energy market. And this is going to be my daily forecast for Thursday, November 1st, 2022. If you like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos and all my trades and portfolio are available in the link down below. And please do your own due, due, due diligence before trading in the market. So let's look at the, the tech stock that are done tech industry first we'll look at the, the nasdaq and as you can see well uh, the federal reserve just uh, basically killed the market today and yet again uh, interest rates increased by uh, 75 basis points which was expected but then the speech from jerome powell basically indicated that this is not going to be the end so four percent is probably not going to be the high of uh, uh, and we may see additional uh, 75 basis points or several uh, 50 basis points going forward until uh, inflation gets back to levels of roughly two uh, percent which is the target of most most central banks and also the federal reserve and we're not even close to that but this may also be delayed it is delayed so if they increase interest rates today it will not have an immediate effect it will take several uh, months before that when you really see that in in the market so they may already have overdone it they may already have put the united, united states economy into recession and that will show up in the next few months and after that they will start um, decreasing yet again, again and it's probably not until we get to that point where the fed basically stops increasing and starts again talking about uh, decreasing in order to get the economy going again and that's probably several months uh, down the line but at this current stage we're trading at uh, 10.9 and we are just at this level here if we break below then the bottom of the bullish band is probably where we'll go to which is 10.6 uh, if you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is turning around. It's still bullish. Stochastic is very bearish and RSI is also bearish. And there's a lot of room to the downside. So we may go well here and go, uh, go significantly lower. Uh, but the market is still just doing the same thing. We have rallies up towards the 200. If we do that, we break down significantly. Rally up towards the 50, break down. Up to the 200, break down. And now yet, yet again, 50. And we'll probably see another like lower so if you look at where we may go to probably the highs uh, down here before the crash in 2020 that's probably where we'll uh, end up if we uh, drop below the lows here uh, from the october so that is to be seen um definitely not any positive signs in the market every single time we uh, get these rallies the Fed basically comes in, increases interest rates, and it basically falls off a cliff. So let's look at uh, the S&P 500. Very similar here. We broke significantly down below the 50 moving average. We're still staying above the 20 simple moving average. Technical indicators are all turning around. MACD is, is still bullish, but it's turning around, becoming bearish. Stochastic is bearish, and RSI is bearish as well. Breaking below the 20 simple moving average opens the door back to the very bottom of the which is 3,537, give or take. To the upside, at this current stage, don't really see an upside, as the um, Fed indicates that they are going to continue uh, raising interest rates and going into the future. Uh, any rally similar to these ones will be sold into, and also this one will most likely be sold into. If we were to rally from here, 50 moving average should be resistant at this current stage. So let's look at the Dow Jones. This also has been falling off a cliff today and probably from compared to the S&P 500, most likely has the furthest drop uh, to the downside. We can see that we're trading at the 32.1 at this point, 50 moving average down here at 38 and then all the way down to 20 and not, um, 28.6, which should be basically the bottom at this, at this current stage. MACD is turning around, still bullish. Stochastic is bearish and RSI is bearish as well. So we have had a testing of the, of the 200 moving average. We saw what happened last time, broke down significantly, 
and this time we'll most likely see a similar thing uh, going forward. There is a channel pop uh, right here, give or take, and hitting that is most likely where we are going to see a bounce. So roughly at 27.6 or around 28 should be an area where we'll see uh, massing support. So looking at the European market, similar thing here, bouncing off uh, the 200 moving average has been what we have been seeing um, for most like most of 2022. The same looks like it's going to happen here. Probably take a few, a few weeks, but right below the 50 moving average down here at the 12.7, well, that opens the door back towards the very lows of 11.8. To the upside, don't really see an upside at this current stage. We had a um, candlestick here yesterday, which was really weak, indicating that we most likely will have a turnaround, which we, uh, which has started as at this point. MACD is still bullish, stochastic is bearish, RSI is bearish. We were on the edge of being overbought, considering uh, the headwinds that European economies are going to have uh, this winter. Um, an overbought condition is mostly a selling opportunity. To the very lows, 11.8 uh, is basically the, uh, the target here. Dropping below there, then we are going to go significantly lower. So let's look at the Japanese uh, Nikkei. Also here, we have dropped, give or take 1.18%. We are just above the 50 moving average, trading at 27.4 and the drop below there. Then we have the 20 simple moving average at 27 and after that, all the way down towards 25.7, give or take. This has been trading in a range for a really long time, for most of 2022. And at this current stage, it looks like we are just going to see more of the same. So in between this range has been where we have traded. And given the fact that most other indices are going to drop, that is more likely that will drop from here. If we were to rally, then up towards 28.3 or give or take is probably where we'll find resistance. MACD is still bullish, stochastic is bearish and RSI is bearish as well. So let's look at the VIX. Now, VIX completely turned around today, but we are running into resistance here at the 200 moving average. Don't think that will hold. Um, if you look at the stochastic, it is turning around significantly, and so is the RSI. It was on the edge of being oversold, and the MACD is also turning around. So we could be seeing a rally here up towards the 50 moving average. We could also look at the, the Fibonacci retracements here and uh, get an indication where we most likely will find resistance. So the 38.2 is up here at 28.32, 50 here at the 29.34, and then we have the 61.8 at the 30.27. Uh, so this is most likely where we'll pull back but we may also see resistance here at the 50 at 29.34. 30, 30, uh, that should look something similar to this rally up towards the 20 simple moving average, which is moving in this direction and then pulling back. Breaking above here and then the 20, 30, uh, 61.8 will most likely come into play. So let's look at the 10 year. It is hanging on, hanging on here uh, right at the 20 simple moving average that has offered support in the past and looks like we are going to see uh, the same here. So Fed in, is indicating that they will continue increasing interest rates going into the future. So this will most likely continue rallying. So until basically we see the Fed basically pivot and uh, st start to talk about uh, leveling off or decreasing interest rate that will see this market tumble. This has been absolutely parabolical for 20, basically since the, when it bottomed in 2020, uh, but for 2022, it has been absolutely parabolical. It's significantly uh, overbought and overstretched in every way. So stack uh, in the next few months that towards the 200 moving average at the 2.7, that is very plausible at this current stage. Things just can't move this parabolical 
uh, for uh, uh, for forever. So let's look at the energy sector. We'll start by looking at the WTI oil. It is running into resistance right here at the ninety dollars. Uh, but considering that the world economy most likely will go into recession in the coming months, I don't have that much hope that we will see a retest of the highs here. It's more likely that we'll have the crossing here at the 20, uh, 50 and the 200 moving average, and we'll see this market tumble back towards the lows here of the 75, as demand for oil should be dropping as the world economy slows down. MACD is still bullish, stochastic is bullish, RSI is bullish as well. If we were to rally from here, then 92 and then 95 up towards 100 should be uh, the next targets. Natural gas rallies 8%, but still underneath the 200 moving average. It is trying to break out from here, but most likely what will happen is the 200 moving average in this direction, 50 will move in this direction. And here we'll have a death cross and usually that is a signal that the market is going to go into a downtrend considering um, the slowdown in the world economy uh, and that europe most likely won't need uh, lng for the united states uh, we may see this market tumble if we were to rally above the 200 moving average the 50 moving average will come into play which is trading at 7.1 at the moment MACD is still negative territory because it's bullish, stochastic is bullish, and RSI is bullish as well. So, hope you find this helpful. You want to support your channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button, see our new videos, and please do your own due diligence before trading in the market. Sorry. Thank you very much, and good luck.